probably seen samples of the hot clothing line based on his tattoo art. You've probably heard his name. But what you may not know is that Don Ed Hardy, often referred to as the godfather of modern tattoo, is a classically trained fine artist whose early roots are firmly planted in Orange County. Discover OC learned more at a recent opening reception for one of Hardy's painting exhibits at Track 16 Gallery in Santa Monica. Don Ed Hardy is probably the most famous American tattoo artist extant, and also he is a tremendous fine artist. I'm a writer, and I had a career as a writer. I look at things as a narrative. I look at things as writing. I like a story. And Don Ed Hardy's work tells a story. The show is part of a bigger show. It's called Five Stories Higher. It's work by artists who we really appreciate in terms of their, what their, their body of work and what they continue to do and what they have done already in the past. My relationship with Don, and I knew him by Don early on, before we ever called him Don Ed, goes back almost 50 years. Don lived in Corona del Mar, I lived on Bubble Island, and his interest was the same as mine at the time, which was probably 100% surfing. And we started out surfing, body surfing, and then got into board surfing at Corona del Mar. High school, he'd be doing all these renderings of the, the jetty area in Corona del Mar, surfing and surfers, and those today are highly collectible. I used to do a lot of surfing watercolors and uh, take them to school and sell them for you know, whatever I could get, a dollar or two or something to buy gas money for surf safaris. And this is in Corona del Mar on the seawall. The jetty's out in front of me here. Pretty little there, so I don't know how old that is. Two or three, something like that. Down by the rocks. I still go play around those rocks when I arrive in Corona del Mar. I think my folks moved to Corona del Mar in 1947. So I really grew up climbing on these rocks and playing on the beach and body surfing here and then later board surfing. In the 1920s, they surfed the big waves here. Duke Hanamoku and other Hawaiians came over and this was one of the premier surfing spots in Southern California. The, the ocean was the main thing I related to as, as nature and uh, I guess the rocks were the closest things we had to mountains and I, I was just always intrigued by the forms of these things the natural formations here and then the displaced rocks that made up the jetties really, uh, I don't know, just had a huge impact on me. It was pretty wild growing up where I did because the beach was, I think, about six blocks due west from our house across the Highway 101 and uh, the top of our block, the city, the town ended and there was barbed wire and the Irvine Ranch was there and they ran cattle there and they had roundups in the summer. So when I was a boy, I was very aware of the whole Wild West heritage, and then I had the surf right down the street, so it was a nice balance. It's a picture of me with my booth at the um, art festival in Laguna Beach in 62, which was the year I graduated high school, and I put up a lot of my work for display, painted the booth black, you know, so they know I was a serious, you know, tormented young artist. There are some old pieces of Hardy's that, that really, you know, are the tattoo, the die-hard tattoo flash pieces that he was doing purposely for tattoo designs. And then that merged into making fine art using tattoo imagery, using those icons. And you can see a little bit of the progression in this exhibition. 